Hello, I'm the Bowmeister, and welcome back to Digimon Story Severed Sleuth. We're back. Actually, I should have done this before, but I had to take care of something in between episodes. So for me, it was only like five minutes. For you guys, it was... What, three days? So by the way, there is a... Uh, is it here? Yep, this one. Digital Space 6. There is a Vmon I can collect. Wrong, wrong terminal. Uh, let me check on Gekamon here. Get him a level 30. <laughs> just because we can get a... Looks like a Mega Seedramon. Techmon. Just whatever I can get him to level 30. Same thing with Repamon. Just go level 30 and I think we'll be set. Just checking my my converts here. Yep, no. Even that twenty percent, like Falcomon, Falcomon and Hawkmon. That's for another time, because we need to head to the de to the demon den. There's Sakura! Yeah, see, the songs themselves aren't so bad. What the? What's wrong with me? Whoa, I might have just taken a trip on the dark side! What's that? You know where Sakura is? Okay, I'm coming! Sakura, we're here to save you! Hey, 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 who are you? What do you want? Butting in on my evil pro pilgrimage, that takes some guts. You could say even say it rocks. Ah, it's you, the girl from earlier. The one who was harping all over me because of Digimon, you bright little harpy. A right little what now? Do you understand this guy yet? Harping, harpy. Wait, was that the whole joke? Bad pun alert, super bad pun alert. What's going on? Is that a TV camera? Wait, are we... We're smack down with a little... Little of an airwave jacket? Wait a minute, does that mean my face is now in living rooms across the nation? Oh, I'm not ready. A mysterious BD needs time sheet to be talked about the next day. You fools! The camera only faces me. My incredible talent alone is what shines through. This music video is playing all over town. I'm talking live. It doesn't mean nothing unless it's live. These wicked fans of mine, possessed by the power of the video, have come here to listen. And now a great crowd of my wicked fans will come and listen to me rock out. What are you talking about? The kids who are here are your... The kids who are here are here because of the Salmonella messages in your music video. What? The what messages? Wait, you made the subliminal messages? <laughs> Ruffle. Oh, yeah, right, that's it. Ogumon, Gabumon, smash the camera! Ah, no freaking way! Why are you smashing my camera? We got that thing special from you know who. It's a very special sweet memory. You know who said my songs need to be heard by more and more people. You know who said I need to become way more popular. You really shouldn't be broadcasting your washed up glamour off her face in the living rooms anymore. Oh my god, who are you calling washed up? Wait, I get it. You're totally ripping off that one band. They were American, I think. Or maybe British. It's something like kicks or lips or whatever. Kiss. I ain't ripping off nobody know how! I will not. No, I cannot let that fly. This time there will be absolutely no mercy! Agumon, Agumon, are you ready? This time we're all gonna save a friend. What? But earlier you said... Now's my chance! 
And we got ourselves a Mega Digimon! Love that or not? By the way, Sora forget. We've got Boltmon. So this is gonna be a tough battle, primarily because my my main striker. Kind of hammer. Yeah, like my main striker, Metal Greymon. Oh, thank you. That helps. Yeah, Metal Greymon can't do a thing because he is weak to all three of these guys. Metal Animon, on the other hand. is strong against them, but we need to do a bunch of damage. And with Jimmy Kid boosting these guys, that's not good. Meteor Shower is neutral and it's gonna do neutral damage because we're all data types. Face down, attack up. I mean, we'll just have Metal Greymon keep whittling away at that one Skull Marimon. <laughs> when it comes right down to it, we'll eventually have... I'll eventually use Metal Greymon to... Uh, Boost up Edamon here. I mean, otherwise I'm just going to keep using Meteor Shower. Try to whittle away the two Skull Marimons. Cross counter. That's not good. But I think that's only for physical strikes, so if I go to the Magic Cow Crusher... And it helps, not there are more since there's more targets. Blue Blaster. Yep. Like I said, I'll just have Metal Greymon keep chipping away at that at this one here. Couple power energy too. I'll just keep chipping away at Tomahawk, Tomahawk Stinger. Uh oh. All right, Hell Crusher. We've almost got that one down. Can he feel it boost up? Defense down, attack up. I have a Bible. But we'll definitely boot kill Adamon real quick, because that Tombat Hawk hurt. Heavy Metal Fire, that's on Agumon. One down! Technically, there's one to go. At that point, then we can start focusing all our attacks on the Boltmon. Alright, we're gonna try Giga Destroyer. A3 is still not shabby.
Tomahawk Stinger! 3,000 damage on Agumon! Thankfully these guys can't go down! Cross combo! Too bad it wasn't a triple triple combo between Starmon, Edamon, and Metal Greymon. But 310 is not not chilly. Another cross combo Giga. Yeah, there we go, Giga Destroyer and Pepper Breath. Seventy-five. Of course, I can feel it. That didn't do really anything. Adam on here. Well, he can only attack. Another Tomahawk Stinger. Killed Grandma or Metal Grandma. Uh, HP right now is going to be a little more important than recovering Edamon's SP. Down. Oh! But even that's okay because... That's 116 attack charge on Edamon. Blue Blast is on Goblimon, should... Then it finishes off the Boltmon. Sweet! We got an HP spray B and memory up DX, which I think is 10. 10 memory. By the way, Metal Greymon and Edamon both level up. 28 for Greymon, 27 for Edamon, and we almost got a level up for Wilbur. Excellent! This is what real friends are like, Nokia. Dang it, why does it have to end like this for me? I just wanted to bring my simple, pure rock and roll to as big an audience as possible. And I finally got help from you know who. I don't know how I'm gonna tell. You keep saying you know who. Who the heck are you talking about? You know who is you know who, duh, little Miss Ree. Miss Ree? You know her, Yin? That's enough. Here comes you go. Oh, it's you guys. Jimmy, look at you. You're pathetic. I was against using phonies like you from the very start. Hang on. You're what we call a filthy pig down on the farm. Hey, you! What are you doing? I was the one who was going to bombard him with questions. You stay out of this, you frumpy little haglet. What? Frumpy? Me? You, you jerk face! I'm so, I am so not frumpy! You're the frumpy one calling me frumpy! So there! What do you mean by stay out? How are you involved with all this? Not only are you frumpy, you're too nosy for your own good. Shut your full mouth before I shut it for y'all! And we've got ourselves an 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 unavoidable boss fight here. I don't even know if we're gonna get an attack in. Blue blaster is gonna do like no damage. Yep. Yeah, if it does if this doesn't knock yeah, it's gonna it's gonna knock him down but not knock him out. No way, she's too strong! I'm no match for her! Oh come on, double one, I'm so sorry. Hey, give it a rest for now. Ha! As if if this is the best she can do, I could whoop her. I said to knock it off, or do you mean to defy me as well? 
Gosh, I, I never, I couldn't possibly, I would never betray you. Shucks, don't even say it. This incident was an oversight on my part. I apologize. He just wanted to attract greater crowds, which is why he hijacked the airwaves. Somewhat, uh, Kamishiro prompted it, though. Kamashiro, then that means that Jimmy Kid is nothing more than a Kamashiro pawn. Undoubtedly, it was Rie Kishibe who put the idea in his head and the hijacking program in his hands. <laughs> but if Jimmy Kid testifies to that fact, no good. Everything he's done has been of his own free will. He has been as skillfully manipulated as the girls he controls with his most hypnotic suggestions. But Yugo, how, can you, how come you know about this place? Didn't I tell you, you frumpy little thing? Stay out of this. I'll send coordinates for the location where girls are gathering in the real world to your terminal. Sorry to make you clean up this mess, but thank you. Let's go, Faye. Hang on, just one gosh darn minute. You're lucky I have a thing for weak and frumpy things. Kinda makes me want to punch a wall, though. Next time I won't go easy on y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. What's up with her? You've got Yugo and Kemashiro and this and that, and it's all just so stupid complicated. Oh, that's right, we came to save everyone who was on Jimmy Kin's evil pil pilgrimage. Sakura, all you girls suffering from the Pomeranian effect. Are you okay? Pomeranian? First of all, let's head back to the agency. I see, then you were able to safely rescue all those who have been subliminally brainwashed. Yeah, but they're all in the hospital now. Nothing to worry about. There are specialists who can break post hypnotic suggestions. More importantly, how are you doing? I heard the hackers did some nasty things to you. I'm perfectly fine, I just want to. I'm gonna look in on Sakura, I'm still worried about her. Ah, uh, the passion of youth. Well then, mind if I ask about the highlights of the case? We give him the lowdown. If I were to summarize the police report, it would probably read like this. The demons of Kemashiro conspired, conspired together. But assuming Kemashiro is behind the string of cases, just what exactly are they after? We're missing something, but what? Or will that something make itself known? Is trying to jump into a conclusion with what little info we have now too big a risk? Let's proceed on the possibility that we're either missing something or that something will turn up. Thanks all for your effort again. You have my thanks as well, no Nokia Shiramine. Uh, well, thanks. Uh, Yin, do you have a second? I want to talk to you outside real quick. She wants to talk outside, huh? Maybe this, all, this is also the passion of youth at work. Enough of that. Any progress on the Kemashiro and Nile Corporation's case, old man? Don't rush me. I'm in the process of clearing some key obstacles. It's like I always said. Haste makes, haste makes waste, right? Meanwhile? Uh, Yin, I, I just... I will never forgive what those hackers did. To use such adorable Digimon so selfishly as their puppets, as their slaves. And the Digimon were so miserable, I felt so, so bad for them. When I saw what you were doing, I knew I needed to do something too. Looking on from the sidelines isn't good enough. There must be something I can do to help. <laughs> I just can't think of anything specific I can do right now. But if I do, you'll be the first to know. Look, look forward to it. Okay, it's on. I'm gonna use the power of my six and keep bots to the max. Nokia Shiramine, work your stuff. Got a thousand CSP, and we're gonna save. Save was successful.
I haven't picked up any cases lately. I better take on a few before Kyoko forces me. And that, my friends, after we answer the digital line, is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we're going to start taking on some of these cases in Chapter 7. But until next time, I am the Bowmeister. Excuse me. And, uh, and as always, I've been obediently yours.